Yo, what's up, guys? It's the Saints fan. Welcome back to another episode of Fashion Friday. Hopefully, you guys are having a good day. And if you guys don't know, I'm doing a shark card giveaway on my Twitter, so go check that out if you want to win. But I'm going to be doing something a little bit different for you guys that submit outfits. I'm going to leave a comment in the comment section that says, leave outfits here. And what I want you guys to do, if you do have an outfit, leave that outfit as a reply to that comment section so we can sort of be more organized. Hopefully that'll work. You can also, if you have a Twitter, you can tweet me your outfits. That's I, I see those um, probably a lot more, especially if you send a picture. But if you do want to leave an outfit on YouTube, leave it as a reply to that comment. Anyway, starting us off with the first outfit. Now, I do have two bodyguard glitched outfits only because uh, they do look really awesome. Like, you can't deny that. And Rockstar still hasn't patched the bodyguard glitch, so maybe they'll let us keep it. I don't know. The first one, though, from James, and this one is the Russian Mafia. This one's pretty damn awesome. It's pretty simple, too. You are going to need the Militia 4 black baseball cap, which, by the way, why is that not in the, why is that only bodyguard? I, I, it doesn't make sense to me. But uh, once you get that, you also need black cop frames for the top. Go with the black fitted leather jacket with a black t-shirt underneath it and then standard body armor. And then for the bottom, go with worn black regular fit jeans and then black flight boots. He says for the weapon, you can choose the compact rifle, the heavy revolver, the switchblade, or the crowbar for torture. But uh, but as is, this outfit does look pretty damn sweet. It's nice and simple, which I, I like. And I don't know, man, what it is about that hat, but I just love that hat. The next bodyguard list outfit is from Broklaw, and this one is Nathan Drake. This one's actually really cool, especially if you guys are fans of Uncharted. I know Uncharted 4 comes out somewhat soon. To make him, though... You're going to want to start with the Militia 1 bodyguard outfit. And then you're going to use the Militia 1 scarf with the white tuck shirt underneath it and a tan parachute bag. For the bottom, keep the Militia 1 pants on and then put the beige work boots, I think they're called. For accessories, go with the silver pendulous gravity watch. And then for the head, go with the side parting 43rd color. The Cleopatra eyebrows at 50% with the 43rd color. The scruffy beard with the 43rd color at about... 50% that's what I chose and then ocean blue contacts I'll put a comparison picture on the screen it's not like 100% but I would say it's like 90% uh, similar it's really nice looking and again if you want to have some variety want to have an outfit that looks like Nathan Drake there you go next outfit we have is from Sonic Speed this one is just a regular outfit it's not a bodyguard outfit but this one is another version that he's made for the the motocross man this one is more of a pinkish version as you can see to make it though, start with a silver vest and then put the fuchsia vest shirt underneath it. On top of that, put standard body armor, the black parachute, and then black leather gloves. For the bottom, the black battle heist pants. And then for the head, the regular gas mask glitched with the Western MC Lilac helmet. For whatever reason, and you're going to see here in a second, uh, you can't put scarves on those vests anymore. Which is why, like, my, the red Moto Man, which I have, it has the black scarf. Which I don't I don't know why they took that away. In my opinion, the the motor these motocross outfits look a lot better with the scarf, but it's unfortunate that you can't get them on anymore. But if you wanted a, a different sort of color to uh, to match one of your bikes, then there you go. I, and I'll actually put the crew color if you want to have the same color crew. I'll put that in like the accessories section as well. So if you wanted to do that, there you go. Next one is from Chris, and it's the Yakuza henchman. This is another really cool one. Uh, to make it, put the black utility bomber on with a white business shirt underneath it and a black skinny tie. For the bottom, black suit pants with all black Chelsea boots. And then the accessories, the black fingerless gloves and the glossy mirrored biker helmet. I didn't even intentionally do this, but we got the Yakuza and we got the Russian Mafia. You know, you could definitely use either of those outfits if you wanted to uh, go on some rampages in gta that'd be pretty fun and then the last outfit for males at least is from tim and this one is the outlaw bandit this is actually one of the most unique outfits i think i've seen in the past couple of months to make it we are going to need the bandana glitch but put on the gray overcoat with a black tuck shirt underneath it for the pants black regular fit jeans white chelsea boots and then the accessories the black leather gloves and then that white cowboy hat with the black paisley bandana covering your face. He does mention that, of course, when you're using this, you're going to have to be using the revolver or the double barrel shotgun, which makes total sense. But that's, I really love this outfit. The colors all match. And it definitely is unique compared to uh, a lot of the other outfits that I've shown over the past few months. But that is it with the outfits. I actually have some female outfits now. So this first one is from James. And this one does require a, a few things, as you can see here. 
but this is the female u.s army cadet pretty cool you know if you want some military outfits for your female character and here's another military outfit from james these actually require the bodyguard glitch so if you have a female character and you want to do or have a, a outfit with the bodyguard glitch then you can use either one of those but anyway that is it with the episode thank you guys for watching again if you do have a comment or you do have an outfit leave it as a reply to the comment that i put or you can tweet it at me on twitter thank you guys for watching though drop a like if you enjoy subscribe all that stuff and as always see you guys in the next one i'm out peace